although Johnny Bauer's nickname was the China Wall, it might better have been Perseverance, for although he had a Hall of Fame career in the NHL, it certainly didn't adhere to the traditional notion of what a life in professional hockey should be about. Bauer grew up in rural Saskatchewan, the only boy in a family of nine children. He was dirt poor and never had the proper equipment. He made his goalie pads from an old mattress, made pucks from horse manure. His dad would look for suitably crooked tree branches to shave into sticks. A friend gave him his first pair of skates because his father couldn't afford to buy him a pair and yet he still refined his game to become one of the best goalies of all time. He began a career in the American Hockey League. Bauer played for Providence and Cleveland for eight full seasons before playing a single NHL game. In 1953-54, he played the entire season for the New York Rangers, but then spent most of the next four seasons right back in the minors, having lost the starting job in New York to Gump Worsley. During his 14 years in the minors, he won the Les Cunningham Award as the AHL's best player three times and the Hap Holmes Award for top goaltender another three times. Bauer's big break came in the summer of 1958 when the Toronto Maple Leafs claimed him from Cleveland at the intra-league draft. Bauer was reluctant to join the Leafs, even though they had finished in last place the previous season, telling them he could be of no help to the team. It was only after being threatened with suspension that he showed up for training camp that fall, and within days, he had established himself as the team's number one goalie at age 34. He was to play a total of 12 seasons with the Leafs. Bauer, like his other five original six brethren, became famous for his fearless play. Maskless, he never shied away from an attacking player and in fact patented the most dangerous move a goalie can make, the poke check. Diving head first into the skates of an attacking player at full speed, Bauer would routinely flick the puck off that player's stick and out of harm's way. One time, he got a skate in his cheek, knocking a tooth out through his cheek. He suffered innumerable cuts to his mouth and lips and lost virtually every tooth in his mouth from sticks and pucks, but almost to his last game, he never wore a mask. And under the confident eye of Coach Punch Imlock, Bauer got better and better. He led the Leafs into the playoffs his first season with a miracle comeback ending to the schedule, and then lost two finals in a row before winning three consecutive Stanley Cup championships, 1962-1964. At this time, Bauer's career seemed precarious. Imlock noticed that Bauer was having trouble with long shots and ordered his keeper to undergo an eye exam. Sure enough, he was short-sighted. But Bauer refused to retire and kept right on going, teaming with Terry Sachuk to win the memorable 1967 Cup with Toronto's over the Hill gang of players, led by the 43 year old Bauer himself. After he retired in 1970 as the oldest goalie ever to play in the NHL, Bauer remained with the Leafs for many years as a scout and then goalie coach, putting the pads on and helping Leaf goalies in practice. At one injury riddled time during the 1979 1980 season, he came within a whisker, at age 56, of dressing as the team's backup. A member of the Hockey Hall of Fame since 1976, Johnny Bowers' number one was retired by the Toronto Maple Leafs in 2017.